Okay, everyone, welcome back to lesson three, the mirror equation. So um, last video, we, uh, we were looking at curved mirrors. We did ray diagrams and we showed how object, uh, if you put an object in front of a curved mirror, you get an image forming on the outside or in front of that curved mirror. And that image, depending on where the object is, it depends on where the image will form. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the mirror equation which actually uh, we get, uh, and we'll also use this for lenses because uh, it works for mirrors and uh, lenses because they both form real images. And it's a way that we can calculate where the images uh, form when you have an object put it, uh, placed at different places in front of a, uh, a curved mirror. So same terminology as last lesson. Let's just zip right through this uh, and you guys will be doing a practice perfect at the end of this lesson. Uh, for your assignment this week. So there is an equation. It's called the mirror equation. It's also called the lens maker equation, which uh, I'll show you next week. But uh, that's what the equation looks like. One over object distance plus one over image distance equals one over focal point. So um, usually I have my students do the algebra for this, but I'm not going to put you guys through that test. I'm just going to rearrange this equation this equation. So if you do the algebra correctly, you get image distance is equal to object distance times focal point divided by object distance minus focal point. So all of the given, the di of course is image distance, do means object distance, and f means focal point. This is for a curved mirror, either convex or concave, so this equation works for both. Okay, we also have the magnification equation which gives you a ratio of the height of the image to the height of the object. So it's basically you're just a ratio. Or it's also the ratio of image distance to object distance. Now there's a negative sign in there. You guys can see it's a, it's a minus sign right there. Uh, that, that's pretty important when it comes to uh, orientation and deciding if the uh, object is uh, real or virtual. So you'll see a little bit more uh, on that a little bit later on in this presentation. So look at that, we have a couple equations, the magnification equation and the mirror equation. Um, let me just uh, formally, HI means height of the image and HO means the height of the object, what you started out with. Okay, so if you wanna jot these down, besides the EI equals DOF over DO minus F, I jot these equations down right here. For magnification, it's height of image over height of object. I like to just think of it as high over ho. And magnification is also equal to negative di over do. Okay? So since those are both magnification equations, they could be equal to each other. Height of image over height of object equals negative image distance over object distance. So we just set them equal to each other. And we could use that if it's one of our uh, tools in some of the problems you guys are going to be facing here shortly. Okay, <clears throat> just a couple things to note. Whenever you have a virtual image, it's behind the mirror, so that's where we get a negative di. That means it's behind the mirror, that's, that's why the negative sign is important. If it's a real image, it's in front of the mirror, so anytime you have a positive di, it's gonna be a real image. If it's a negative hi, a negative height of the image, that means it's inverted, which we found out last week all real images are inverted, so a negative HI means it's a real image, and a positive HI means it's a virtual image, right? Because they are behind the mirror and upright. Okay, so here's our first example problem. A concave mirror has a center, cur center of curvature of 30 centimeters. If a six centimeter tall object is placed 45 centimeters from the mirror, A, is it a real or virtual image? B, is it upright or inverted? And C, is the image taller or shorter than the object? So you can answer this one just from watching the uh, video last week. I went ahead and put a ray diagram up here so you could see this scenario. Here's our object, it's beyond C. We did two of our rules we learned last week. A line parallel to the principal axis will be reflected through the focal point and a line drawn through the focal point is reflected back parallel to the principal axis, and there's our real image, it forms. So to answer these questions, is it real or virtual? 
It is a real image because it actually does form because those rays meet. Is it upright or inverted? As we can see there, it is inverted because it is a real images. Remember, real images are always inverted. And is it taller or shorter? And you can see by the ray diagram, the image is actually smaller. All right, or shorter. So let's do the math now. D, where does the image form? So let's go ahead and write out our givens, then our unknown, then the, what tool we'll use, and then we'll get the answer. So right here, a concave mirror has a center of curvature of 30 centimeters. So we know C is equal to 30 centimeters. A six centimeter tall object, okay, so that's the height of the object. So HO is six centimeters, is placed 45 centimeters from the mirror. So that's the distance of the object. So distance of the object is 45 centimeters. Now look at, we have the center of curvature is 30, right? Well, we remember from last lesson, half of the center of curvature is the focal point. So even though it's not written in the givens, we know F is half of C, so that's 15 centimeters. Make sure you do that in all of your uh, practice problems today. Um, the unknown we're looking for is where does the image form? So we're looking for DI, image distance. Tool, what tool do we use? Well, how about the one I showed you right at the beginning of the lesson? DI equals DO times F over DO minus F. Plug in our givens. The object distance is 45 centimeters. The focal point is 15, all divided by 45 centimeters minus 15. Do the math, and image distance comes out to be 22.5 centimeters from the mirror. Okay, notice it's a positive number because it is a real image. E, what is the height of the real image? So we still have all of our givens written out. But we just found DI, so we can include that. Image distance is 22.5 centimeters. In this case, what is the height of the real image? So we're now we're looking for HI, height of the image. What tool do we use? The tool is, well, let's use this ratio. High over ho equals negative DI over do, right? Because we have all of those except for HI. Do a little algebra. Height of image is equal to negative image distance times height of the object divided by object distance. Plug in our numbers. Negative 22.5 centimeters times 6 centimeters over 45 centimeters. The height of the image is negative 3 centimeters. Notice it's a negative number, which is good. Because real images, according to what I showed you earlier, always have a negative height because they're below the principal axis. Okay, let's do one more practice problem, and then you guys can do some of these on your own. A car is 3.5 meters from a convex mirror with a center of curvature of negative 1 meters. Okay, I'm going to show you an image of a convex mirror. And if you guys take a look at this image here, let me get my pointer. There it is. Here's the, okay, so first of all, here's the object. So this would be like the car. Here's our convex mirror. Notice it's curved, but it's curved outward. So the focal point and the center of curvature are negative uh, numbers because they're inside the mirror, okay? So let's remember, with a convex mirror, the focal point and the center of curvature are always going to be negative, okay? So right off the bat, we could look in here. You could see that you get a real, a, a virtual image. It's behind the mirror, and it is smaller. So will it be real or virtual? It's going to be virtual, and it's going to be smaller. Okay? So find the position of the image. So we're looking for a DI, right? So let's write out our givens. Center of curvature is negative 1 meter. Okay? So if we know the center of curvature, we also know the focal point. It's half of that, which is negative 0.5 meters. Okay? We also know the object distance, which is the car. It's 3.5 meters away from the mirror, okay? What are we looking for? Image distance, DI. The tool we use, that same one we were using earlier. Image distance is equal to object distance times focal point over object distance minus focal point. 
plug in our numbers. 3.5 meters times negative 0.5 meters divided by 3.5 meters minus a negative 0.5 meters. And we come up with a negative, 40, uh, negative 0.44 meters. It is a negative image distance, which is good because that means it is inside the mirror. It's a virtual image in that convex mirror, just like the ray diagram showed. Okay, this is, uh, this is what you're doing here for the next, this probably take you about a half hour to get these pumped out. Um, work on them. Um, the, uh, the, the worksheet is in the Google Classroom under uh, Classwork. Uh, you'll, you find it where, right where you found this video. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the answers for each one of them. Here's the answers. So that way, when you're working out the problem, see if you get the correct answer. If you're having any problems, send me an email during my office hours. I'll be around my computer all the time. Um, and, uh, and good luck with this. Uh, oh, when you do finish, take a picture of your work so I could see how you did it and send it to me for the credit. All right, good luck and have fun.